So welcome to the channel today. You know, Tam's a little out of the weather today, so uh, I'm just gonna kinda start off with this one and see how it goes. So today we're gonna be talking about the weather. You know, everybody's always asking, what do you expect for the weather to be? You know, we've already been here for a little over a week now, and we're gonna tell you kinda what the forecast is gonna be, and we got some other things, we got some people we met up with, and we're gonna show you that today. And so let's get right on to the channel, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and give us that thumbs up. Let's roll. So today, that's what we're gonna talk about, weather. One of the crazy things is the weather that's out here in the Black Hills. What makes it so unique is the mountains. You know, they call them hills, but they're really kind of like mountains out here that affects the weather all around here. Right now, we're staying in Rapid City. There's been a whole lot of storms that have blown through here that's overpassed us, missed us by miles. But the one last night, this is Monday, and the one we had last night, Sunday night, was really bad. It hit Deadwood, it hit here. We got hail people were asking that question is there gonna be hail good chance you're gonna see some you know the hail we had last night you know we're an aluminum trailer so when we started I started here and I'm like holy crap here it comes so look out the window it's about 10 30 11 o'clock and uh, it's a little bit smaller than pea size hail so you know not too bad kind of watched it it came before the rain uh, probably just a few minutes maybe seconds of hail and uh, pretty much stopped uh, I've heard other areas in the area here that actually got kind of like a snow covering of it but here we didn't but the wind blew hard a lot of rain came down last night you know let's get right to what we wanted to talk about today is what can we expect during the rally this year 2022 We've been out here and it's been 35 degrees before at night. And we've been here and it's been over 100 degrees. And just to show you how crazy the weather is here, when we came in here, we actually stopped out here in Mitchell on the way in, which is over there on the east side of South Dakota. And it was 104 degrees. We're over here in Sturgis, it was about 89. So that shows you just how the weather can fluctuate here. You know, I don't think we're gonna see any cold weather coming up here. I think we're gonna see weather in the 60s at night, but you're probably gonna be looking 80s, high 90s during the day. Will we hit any 100 degree weather? Hey, it's possible, but doubtful. Are we gonna see any hail? Money has it, yes. Uh, there's been hail out here the last few weeks. We've been talking to a lot of the locals and they said, yes, hail can show up here and it has been showing up the last three or four weeks. So yes, that's definitely a good chance you're gonna get it. The closer you are to Sturgis, Bellefuge area, that area over there, talking to the locals, they're telling us that is the area that gets more of the hail. We're over here in Rapid City now, uh, not as often here for the larger size hail. They do get hail here, but it's not the one that's gonna beat your car up and things like that, but it does happen. So you might have a chance of rain, hail, whatever. It's still great riding country out here, and there's plenty of nice time during the day to get out there and ride. So let's go on and check out these interviews we got and uh, show you what else we did today. And we'll see you tomorrow. And one of the questions we always hear or complaint we hear about people is they always say, you know, the rally isn't what it used to be. So where we're standing at is actually the city park. And this is actually where the rally kind of started at back here. Uh, people used to camp around the little pond back there in the, in the park here. Uh, when we first started coming out here, they used to have signs out here telling you, no camping in the park. So, you know, that's kind of changed. You're not allowed to stay here anymore. But when we go back and talk to some of these people that have been here 40, 50 years, gone to the rally, especially last year and the year before, you know, what they kind of did when they came out here is they, they put their tent up out here. They uh, met new friends. They went riding. They did some drinking. They had some fun. And that was their rally. Yep. So. No big concerts. <laughs> is that really gone? No. You can still do that, just like at the Buffalo Chip last year. We found all those groups of people that were meeting here year after year after year and still doing the same thing they did 30 or 40 years ago. So you can come to Sturgis and you don't have to get all involved with all the concerts and the bars and the vendors and all that if you don't want that. So I, once again, I don't want to hear it all the time. I don't want to hear people say it's not the rally it used to be. The you, rally's what you make it. That's right. So there's plenty of campgrounds out here. There's BLM land, Bureau of Land Management you can stay on uh, for free. So you can make this rally just like it was 40 or 50 years ago when it first started out. So it's really, you're not 
the way it used to be. <laughs> That's true. That's it for today. Let's move on. Uh, J.R. Stewart. And where are you guys from? We're from uh, Greenville, Illinois and Pocahontas, Illinois. Okay, and when did you guys start out on your journey? Oh, we started uh, a week ago Wednesday. Okay, and uh, where all have you been? Well, we took off to begin with, uh, we went through uh, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, uh, New Mexico, down into uh, southern Arizona, and then we come back and started seeing the sights. Uh, we stopped at the uh, Grand Canyon first, and then we went at the Bryce Canyon uh, second, and then we uh, eased on up to Yellowstone. We went up through Idaho, come in the west gate of Yellowstone, and uh, we uh, just been easy riding, you know, the whole time. We've got over 3,000 miles on now, and we uh, uh, we're easing on down. We're down here to Sur Sturgis right now, and then we're going on down to Rush Mount Rushmore on our way home, and uh, just having a good time, good ride. When do you think you're going to make it back home? Oh, we should be home by uh, next Monday, yeah, something like good. that. So, right. you know. So there's three of you. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. Gary. Go talk All right, to him. So that's Gary. Put him on you too. So. Uh, you from the same town? I'm actually from uh, Mulberry Grove, a little smaller town, a little farther out. Okay. Is this your longest trip you've ever been on? Actually it is. Last year was 3,500 miles to Maine and, and back around. This year we're at 3,400 now, so we're going to bust that wide open. There you go. Looks like. Uh, What's been the highlight of the trip? Uh, Yellowstone was beautiful. That was pretty exciting. Uh, the roads exciting. still were all right to get through and stuff. I know they had some mudslides. Had no and stuff. problems, and actually we got lucky. They were saying they thought traffic would be pretty bad, and it was light, so we didn't really have any problems at all. It was a uh, been it was a pretty nice day, Yellowstone. Well, you definitely can see the bugs. You guys have definitely been riding through the bugs <laughs> every day, every day. So have you cleaned your bike since you've been on the road? Uh, windshields is all there. Uh, we were hoping for rain last night. So we'd uh, get out and find clean bikes this morning, but uh, we, yeah. we lucked out. No rain, no rain. No, no troubles? Everything went good? Looks like you had to buy a new tire. Yeah. <laughs> that's his spare bear. Oh, that's, oh, that's your spare That's his spare bear that he's oh, carrying. This, this is a bear tire. You like riding? Yeah, he likes riding. That you ready, you ready to go home? No, no he don't want to go home. He wants you to keep like riding. You don't like riding behind him because it looks like he's laughing at you the whole goddamn time you're riding. Ah. Ah. Daryl. And what town are you from? Pleasant Mound, Illinois. There you go. Have you been on a lot of these trips with these guys? No, these guys have been on a lot of trips with me. Oh, yeah. so you're the, you're the leader, right? Exactly. I see your bike up front. Yeah. You're the experienced guys. I'm the amateur. So that's why you're in the middle? So yeah. they, you don't get lost. I don't get lost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. There you go. Right. Looking good. You guys have a safe trip home. Okay, thank you. Take care. Hey, Motor Maids. It's the oldest women's motorcycle club in North America. We're older than the Hells Angels, if that's a uh, claim to fame. Uh, this is our 82nd convention, um, and we've started in 1940. And yeah, where did it originate from? It started in the um, the eastern states, yeah, with uh, Dot Robinson and Linda, Linda DeGo. DeGo. Thank you. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, and how long have you been riding yourself? Riding uh, since 1995. Yes, we yes, are. We are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Do you guys live together? Or? Uh, no. We're all from the uh, Ottawa, nation's Ontario. capital. Ottawa. Ottawa, Ontario. Ontario. Nation's Canada. capital. Yeah. Yeah. Ontario, Canada. Well, we saw you guys were in town. You were having a convention. Now, you meet yeah. annually? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and always in Rapid City? No, or? no. Different place every year. East, East, West, Central, North America. Never yeah. in the same place twice. Very no. Yeah. yeah. You guys ride safe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.